Hello, everybody. If you don't know who I am, it's me. It's your girl, Tan. Hey, subscribers. And hey, new subscribers. I hope y'all enjoyed y'all 4th of July. Got full of whatever that you ate and full of that good, good, good drink. Soda, water, beer, vodka, hen, whatever suits your fancy. I know I did, and I'm still feeling the effects. But anyway, I got on here today because I found out last night that Tracy Wagaman, which played on Life at the Lockup, has passed on at the age of 41 or 42. They're not sure of her age. Um, if you watch Love at the Lockup, Life at the Lockup is the same show. Um not fairly new, but fairly new. It's 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 worth watching. Well, they have a new uh crew on there, so we're gonna see how that works. But yeah, she passed away. They don't know if it was uh due to uh C section complications because she just had given birth to a little girl, which she said was a little boy, and some alleged say that she said that because she was high off the medication. From, you know, giving birth, she had a C-section. And some said she did that be to throw the sex off of the baby because she gave the baby up for adoption. If y'all watched the show, you know that Tracy, she tried, I guess, tried as best as she knew how and used the tools that she had to um, live right. But she was strung out on so-called crack. Um, and if you... She, if you Go look at it. You look at season. I think she's on season two. And, I mean, she's a real a, a real kiki. I mean, it was sad to see her going through her addiction and uh, her dramatic change in appearance. It was like she went from this thick hottie to what happened. And it was because of the drugs. And she, you know, she would act out and do things. And she ran off with the dog and the... Uh, rental car and she wanted more drugs but they said that they found her in the motel room hotel room and that she's allegedly a od from drugs and some said that she probably had complications from her c-section because she did give birth at 36 weeks 37 weeks due to complications so or whatnot maybe she did take it over edge maybe not you know but at least she was able enough to keep clean to bring this. Hopefully, the baby did come out clean. Just saying, hypothetically, if the baby is clean, then she should have realized that she can do it if she choose to. You know, some people like that lifestyle. Some people like to get high. Some people just don't get tired of the, you know, because that's, that's all they want to know, you know. So, yeah, she passed on. And let's just hope that, you know, if she wasn't at peace on this earth, that she find peace wherever that her soul may land, you know. It's a sad thing. But if the baby came out sober, if the baby came out clean, it should have let her know that she could do it if she was if she died from drug overdose, you know, plus, you know, by you having a C-section, you know, when they say you have a baby, you got one foot in the grave, one foot out, that's near death experience. It, you know, considering all the medications and stuff like that, it probably wasn't in her best interest to go right back and start, you know, doing what she normally do, you know. But I just was bringing it out. I thought that was just a sad loss. I was surprised when I heard it. I was just like, wow, you know. But, you know, I was hoping the best for her. I, I was hoping, since I heard that she was pregnant, that uh, she had got herself together, you know. And like I said, she made it through the entire pregnancy. And she gave birth. So she she tried, you know. And um, they said that she gave the baby up for adoption. So I guess that was an indication right there that... She 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 wasn't ready to get off the drugs, but at the same time, she knew that she wasn't capable of taking care of a child. So instead of taking the child through that lifestyle, she just gave the kid 
away or however she did it. I don't know if she met the parents, picked the parents, or did they pay for her the baby or however, you know. But at least she knew that she wasn't capable of uh, raising the kid and spared that kid's life. And kudos to her. So I just got on here to say that it's a sad thing, you know, to hear someone lose their lives, even though you may know that they in a sin, you know, they doing what they do and you know what they do. The ultimate outcome is death. You still hate to hear that. So this me, Tan, you know what I say? Fuck them they sell because all they do is run they motherfucking mouth. All right, check life out of lo uh, love out the lockup. Um, out, oh, check it out. Um, season two, it was the best to me. But I mean, if you want to start from the front or whatever, you want to binge watch, you don't have nothing to do. Cause I think we still on season three, but episode thirty nine or something. So uh, I mean, like I said, it's a new crew. Go check it out. You know, uh, condolences to the Wagman family. Wagman family. Um, rest in peace, Tracy. But check the show out. Let me know what you think about the show. Give me a comment. Give me a thumbs up, thumb down. You know, subscribe, subscribe, share. You know. So I'm signing off, y'all. I'm going to talk to you guys later. I'm, I told you I'm still feeling the fix from yesterday. I'm tired and I just got in from work. But love you guys.